So you want to learn how to add YouTube videos to your Facebook page? Well, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you step by step exactly how you can go about doing that so you can actually use this to expand your audience. All right. So you definitely want to stick with me all the way through this video so you don't miss anything. Now, my name is Rakeem Madison, and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want to learn how to build a long, sustainable business that will give you the freedom you deserve, all right? So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and minimize my camera, and we're going to jump right into today's content. All right, now you can see we are here on my Facebook profile. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to literally walk you step by step through the process of how you can actually add the YouTube tab to your Facebook business page. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, hit the little search search tab because my, my regular profile and my business profile they go by the same exact name, right? So if I hit enter, all right, so you can see, here's my regular profile and then here's my business profile. So for my business profile, I'm gonna go over there. All right, so here's my business profile. Okay, let me go ahead and click this off. All right, so right over here, you see these tabs that are on my left? You can see I already have my YouTube tab actually installed. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to show you how you can actually install it, but I'll just show you real quick exactly how mine looks. So when I click on the YouTube tab, this is what actually happens. All right, so what it does is it actually allows me to have my most recent videos show up on my page. So what is this actually doing? So let me get this out of the way. All right, so now you can see, this is the video that I put out um, yesterday at the time that I'm recording this video this was the video that I put out so they show your latest video from what you did now after I post this video um, if you decide to after this video is post if you go over to my um, Facebook business page you're gonna see the video that I'm recording right now because it does your latest videos now if I scroll down even further if I hit show more it literally shows my entire description right below there and then right below that you got multiple videos right over here on Facebook so you got to think about that if people are finding me you know organically through Facebook and they're coming over here and they're, they're they're seeing this YouTube tab and they're clicking it let's say for instance I'm running Facebook ads because I run Facebook ads from time to time and so when people start coming checking out my page and stuff I could actually be driving traffic to my YouTube page because you know you know people click around different pages I click around different pages all the time so you got to think about how this can really expand your audience because not everybody is actually on YouTube some people are specifically on Facebook but a lot of times if they really enjoy what you do they enjoy the content that you put out if they're curious enough they're gonna be like oh he has a YouTube channel too let me actually go over there and check out his YouTube channel so this is another way that you can actually expand your audience now the question is how do you actually go about doing this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to fbapp.us that's what you have to do fbapp.us all right so you can see it says customize your Facebook page optimize your Facebook presence with custom tabs and branding services to grow your audience and connect with your fans now here's what I want to let you know this is a free service. You're not going to have to pay for anything unless, of course, you want the premium services. Because with every business out there, everyone has a premium service, service you know, for the people who actually want to, you know, get, get, get even more out of it. All right. So let's actually show you what to do. So now we're going to scroll down and you see it says Facebook apps for your pages. And then what we're going to click on is we're going to click right here where it says YouTube. We're going to click on install. Now, I'm not going to do it because I've already went through the process. But what you want to do is you want to click on Facebook pages and then you want to go to the page that you actually want it to be on. Right. So if it's if it's your personal page, how like I have mine or if it's a brand page or whatever it is, you can actually just go to the page that you have built out and then you will hit add page tab. OK. All right. So if I hit cancel. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, yeah, yeah, so we good. All right, so boom, that's how you will go about doing it. And then when you get over here, I'm going to take you over here to the, uh, the application settings. So you see these settings right here? So I will click on this, and then you can see here's my YouTube channel ID, right? So where did I actually get that from? So let me go over to my YouTube channel. Matter of fact, let me just type youtube.com backslash Rakeem Madison, because that should be my... Uh, custom URL and when I do that sometimes it'll actually pull the you the, the ID that I actually just showed y'all 
Um, sometimes it doesn't. All right, so in this case, it didn't actually pull my ID, um, but let me, let me actually, give me, give me just a minute. Uh, I'm gonna try to just pull that actual ID. Because sometimes I, I, I like to get that ID hey, that way. what's going on? Rocky oh, man. Madison here. That video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you uh, how to promote JB Zoo products on Facebook, right. guys. So, if you're... Dang, I did not try to click that. <laughs> okay, uh, bear with me. All right, boom. So, hopefully that just paused. Okay, it just paused. So, what I'm trying to do is I was trying to get to my channel URL with the actual... Um, the actual ID, I might be able to get to it from my YouTube settings. So let me go into my YouTube studio real quick. All right, hopefully I can get to it uh, from over here. So if I click on account, no, no, I can't get for, to it from here. So if I go to settings, maybe I'll be able to grab it over here from settings. All right, don't see it right now. Got channel, advanced settings. I forget exactly where I can get that link at. I know it's somewhere specific. Permissions, uh, community, agreement. Okay, I'm not seeing it right now. Just bear with me, guys. Feature eligibility. All right, so let's go here. Should be an easier way to get it, to be honest. Okay, so if I go back. Matter of fact, let me go to an incognito browser and see if I can get it. I know, I know there's an easier way to get it. I just can't... Um, I just can't. I can't get it right now for some reason. If if this doesn't work, like if I if I if I can't get it from doing what I'm about to do, then I'm just gonna say you know forget it, and then basically I'll just break down what it is. All you want to do is you want to grab the ID at the end of your channel URL. So I created a custom URL. So my custom URL is YouTube.com backslash Raheem Addison, right? So what you want to do is if you don't have a custom URL, what you want is you want the actual ID. So on the end, you want to grab the ID. So like, for example, like if I click on this channel right here, I'm just going to click on a random channel. So it looks like this channel right here has a custom URL. Uh, let me see. Let me see another channel that probably won't have that. Most, most, most bigger channels usually have a custom URL. Let's click on the House of Highlights. Okay, looks like they have one as well. Chris Paul but is one of the, the concept is to actually get the ID at the end. If you don't have a custom URL, just grab the ID. And I know it's a way to find it in YouTube, but at this particular moment, I can't find it. And I don't want to delay the video e any more you know, than it needs to be. So if I go back to my, ch uh, my, my page, you can see I grabbed my actual URL, like the, the, um, the end of it, and then you just put it in here for the channel ID. Or you can actually just put a playlist ID in there. Or if you just want to just put bring a video over there, all you do is just put the video ID. Okay? So that's how that would pretty much work. And as I was saying, there are premium services. So as you can see here, it says features below available only with premium uh, subscriptions. So you could do a header. You could do a link. Um, you could do... I, I, don't, I don't really know what magic link is. I think that link will probably just allow you to share like this little section. Um, and then you got the autoplay and then of course you got load more videos But this is pretty much how it would look as you can see you can see a little bit of uh, analytics here And then like I said my most latest video So each and every time I post a video the most latest video will be right here um, And bigger than the rest of the videos um, That were before that and then of course show the description and then this is how it would look all, all pretty much form right here So when a person comes here and they're not used to being on YouTube, but they're actually they actually see you have a YouTube tab, it kind of piques the interest, right? Cause they're, they're like, okay, I see you got a Facebook presence, but he also has a YouTube presence or she also has a, um, you know, a, a YouTube presence. So this will be a way for you to actually um, expand your audience, all right? So hopefully you now, hopefully you ha have a better understanding of, you know, how to add the YouTube tab to your Facebook business page. And if you got some value from this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also drop me a comment down below, letting me know if this was helpful or valuable. And with that being said, um, if you want to learn more about how you can get more subscribers on YouTube, this is a way to expand your audience. But if you want to learn how to get more subscribers, um, I'll go ahead and put a video up in the card. Check out that card. Watch that video right now. That's going to show you how to get more subscribers. So once you start bringing those people over from Facebook, 
this is actually going to allow you to start converting those people, all right? All right, so with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.